That's the flag. So Trent, you just did a video on uh, someone getting up on a stage, and I used to uh, I used to do event security, and I was working with a guy that had a uh, uh, a really high opinion of my ability, and there was a stage diver. He was a little person. He was a midget. Uh, he was about uh, he was about that big. He was really really small. And he was getting up on stage, and the, uh, the band uh, had all this uh, preset equipment bolted to the ground, all these pedals and whatnot, really expensive setup, and uh, we were supposed to keep everybody off it, and we were, except for this uh, small person, this little guy, this midget. And uh, he just kept denying us. Uh, he was super wily, and uh, once he got up on stage, he'd launch himself, he'd, cr he'd crowd surf a little bit, and then he'd drop down into the crowd, and the crowd was gigantic, it was, an, it was a warehouse. And it was, uh, it was too big for us to work, um, but, you know, that's how they run it. Um, so he kept doing it, and at one point in time, he launched himself off the pedals of the guitarist, and the guitarist took a kick at him um, and missed, but the owner of the place saw basically one of his employees, a person he'd hired to play, take a kick at somebody who had actually paid to come in. Uh, and he's, like, thinking, oh, that's, that can't stand. And so he turned to me. He had, re he had a high opinion of me. And said, Earl, take care of that guy. Make sure it never happens again, or let him know that we're gonna need to escort him out. Uh, and he didn't want to throw him out either. That's not how this guy rolled. Uh, so I see, uh, I see the midget heading for the stage, and uh, I see other people see too. So they go to block him, and I go to where he's gonna, where I think he's gonna jump off. And sure enough, he makes it through the staff that goes to try to block him. Hits the stage. And he starts running for the stage. And I start running to meet him. Then he comes whipping around to the front of the stage. And I've knifed my way through the crowd. Just, el just elbow out and shoulder in. And just boom, boom, boom. Knocking my way through. And I get there right as he comes running up. And he jumps up and I catch him. And I said, do not jump on the stage anymore. If you do it again, I'm going to throw you out. Whoa. And then I threw him into the crowd. I didn't know I was going to do it. Here's the thing about like life experience. I held an adult man above my head and yelled at him why I shook his whole body. And then I threw him up on top of a crowd that carried him away with their hands. <laughs> and he did not get on stage again. So when I went back to uh, my boss, my boss was like, His high opinion of me had sensibly diminished. 